I haven't abandoned you side channel. It's just if I don't have anything to talk about, I'm not going to force a video, but I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off and I feel like fucking bitching about this. So this is the channel in which I could do things where I don't have to worry about stuff. Like I don't have any footage of Grant. We're talking about Gran Turismo 7. You saw the title of the video. I don't have any footage of my online races. My PlayStation 5 is upstairs, but you know, I still want to talk about this because I feel like there's a lot of people that can relate with this situation if you're playing Gran Turismo 7 and that's the fucking penalty system in the online in this game is the most broken and bizarre thing I've ever seen. Now, a lot of people don't realize this about me, but I like cars and modifying cars and stuff. You know, I've been involved in modifying cars since I was 16 years old. You know, the first car I got, I was working full time when I was like 18 and I was still living at home and I was going to community college. So I souped that everything I made. I didn't save a fucking penny when I turned when I graduated high school. It was a Ford Explorer. When I graduated high school, my parents were like, well, what do you want for your graduation gifts? And I was like, dubs. And they're like, excuse me. I was like, I want dubs. I want 20 inch rims on the Explorer. And so like that was like my first big thing I had. I had I had gotten a, um, a brush guard, a chrome brush guard for it, but I wanted dubs. So they got me 20s because I was a fucking invalid and uh, graduated high school. And, you know, that really kicked off my car modifying love. Now, I haven't really been into cars in like the past. I don't know, I'd say six, seven years. I definitely fell out of it because obviously I was focusing on YouTube and stuff, but now I'm getting back into them. I'm getting back into cars. I'm getting back into like racing stuff. And I actually bought a cockpit and a steering wheel just to play PlayStation 5 games. I'm going to buy a steering wheel for the Xbox whenever Forza uh, Motorsport 8 comes out, if that looks good, obviously. But there's a lot of great PlayStation 5 racing games, Gran Turismo, Wreckfest, that I felt like, you know, it'd be cool to have a cockpit and have this. I got everything for under $450. I'm making a video on it on the full channel, but bringing everything back full circle. I'm a man who likes cars, okay? So I bought a cockpit and I bought a steering wheel and I'm having fun with it. It's amazing playing. Like, you, you don't understand how much more fun it is to play a racing game when you're in a cockpit when you have a decent wheel like it's just a completely different experience it's it's so much fun especially if you like things like cars it, it just really hits with you like i've been playing Wreckfest. holy sh that's stupid fun it's stupid fun but i really bought it because of gran turismo 7 like i want to be able to feel what it's like to drive these cars that i'm never gonna you know drive them I'm, I'm probably never gonna have a mclaren even if i had mclaren money i probably still wouldn't buy a mclaren because i'm a cheap son of a bitch if the car is like over 40 grand you know 45 grand coming out of my pocket eh, probably not probably not but the online racing and Gran Turismo 7 is the biggest fucking piece of goddamn diarrhea dog shit that I've ever experienced in my life. You have these daily races. And the cool thing about the daily races is since the last update, they've made it so that if you don't have the car that's involved in the daily race, you can actually just rent the car for free. So you don't even need to buy the cars for the daily races because you can't soup them up or anything like that. They're just stock cars. You're supposed to be going on your skill of both driving the vehicle and driving on the track. But of course, because it's an online racing game, half the community out there are just fucking idiots who are like, damn, damn, bumper cars, look at me. And it's like, okay, you know, there's a penalty system in the game. But the problem is the penalty system in the game is absolute fucking dog shit because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You get penalties for things like, you know, going off the court, like clipping the course or something like that. But the main thing is for hitting into people. And there's different increments. There's a half a second penalty, a one second penalty, a three second penalty, and a five second penalty. And it like stacks up and stuff like that. But the distribution of the penalties makes absolutely no fucking sense because I have been literally just driving, staying in my lane, driving in my path, and somebody hits me. This just happened to me. Somebody hit me from the side and then I sort of braked a little bit, and then they braked and spun me out. I, I got a five second penalty. They didn't get jack fucking shit. I got a penalty for hitting them. Even though they came into me, hit me, I slowed down, they slowed down, and then hit me from the behind and made me spin out. What is going on with this game? How are, I, I need a detailed explanation. 
I need a detailed explanation on how the penalties are given out because it always just says, oh, you hit a car and here's a, here's a penalty. Here's a, here's a number. Here's a number. One second, three second, five seconds. And then what's up here? <laughs> what's supposed to happen is there's a spot on every course where it's like, it's usually on a straightaway. And once you hit that spot, if you have a penalty time, your car just slows down. You can't accelerate and it becomes invisible so that you can't like take people out when you're in this mode. The problem is literally half the fucking time I'll be driving. I'll be like, let's just say I'm in fourth place. And the person who's in third place has a three second penalty. And I'm like, well, okay, they're going to slow down. So I'm going to get third place. Now you'll be driving. You go into the penalty zone. Doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. We come out of the penalty zone. They still have a three second penalty. When are we going to give them this penalty? Is it on the next lap? Is it on the final lap? Or are we just not going to give them the penalty? The penalty system in this game is so fucking convoluted and just bullshit dog shit. There needs to be stricter penalties. You know what would fix all of this? If you made it so that their fucking car just explodes. Now, obviously, that's a bit over dramatic so make their playstation 5 explode killing them and their household for doing things like reckless driving it does what happens in real life the real racing simulator that's what gran turismo says it is i want to see deaths okay i want to see people dying from this game but i mean obviously that's slightly hyperbolic slightly because i would like to see a lot of these people just i don't know their playstations catch on fire but on a serious note, they, they they desperately need to fix this because it's making the daily races unplayable. It's making them not fun. It's making them just, just ridiculous to play. If somebody bumps into you twice, then their car should be invisible. They shouldn't be allowed to bump into anyone anymore, and their their uh, acceleration should be throttled. You know, they need to do stricter penalties. You need to do 10-second penalties, 15-second penalties. Make these people who are driving like fucking assholes quit the game. Put it, put a, a time thing. You know, if you get a certain amount of penalties in a race, then, oh, okay, you can't access the daily races for, you know, 24 hours or something like that. Like, I'm being dead fucking serious here because it's not a game where it's like a Halo game or something like that. You know, a first person shooter where it's like, oh, okay, you know, you're going to respawn in a few seconds. Anyways, if you want to finish this race, you could put 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, a half hour into these races. And then one fucking idiot decides to fuck up everything for you. And then they get a, a little slap on the wrist and you're done for. What's 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 more damaging? A, a, a three second penalty where you have to deaccelerate or somebody spinning you out to the point of where you have to hit it in reverse, get back on the course and then hope for the fucking best. I think the answer is clear. The three second penalty is a way less penalization than your car just getting fucked. Why is there no why is there no mechanical damage online? I want to see these cars literally blow up and like see the see their character gets out of the car. He's like stop drop and rolling and then somebody comes up with a fire extinguisher, but the fire extinguisher's empty. So you're going to burn. You're going to burn for your sins. You're going to burn for being a shitty fucking racer. It really pisses me off, man. It it, it makes me so mad because you know, it it it's it's fun. It, it, it's fun to have this idea of doing things like, you know, daily uh, daily races where you're getting a certain type of car on a track and it doesn't matter how much you souped up a car. It's literally down to the driver. It's literally down to how much balls the driver has. And I know that accidents are going to happen. I know people are going to bump into people. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the people who are going out of their way to hit people need to be hit with a harsher penalty. You know, if somebody's getting a bunch of penalties every single fucking race, it's probably not the game. It's probably not the people around them. It's probably that motherfucker right there. Simple as that. I'm done. I don't have anything else to say. Fucking fix your shit, Sony, with Gran Turismo 7s online. Fuckers.